So after a long day digging through studies and throwing away the crappy ones, I come home and people ask me, why didn't you cover the latest HIV research? Or why didn't you write about the latest cure for cancer? And the answer is I didn't report on it because it happened in a mouse. There is nothing easier in the world than curing a disease in a mouse. As a matter of fact, scientists publish hundreds of thousands of papers every year on what they've cured in mice. They run over 100 million studies in mice alone. When it comes to developing new drugs, something like 64% are going to make it past animal trials. Now, animal trials might include anything from mouse trials, monkey trials, elephant trials, bird trials, iguanas, whatever. Once they make it past those animal trials, they still have to pass human trials and prove that they actually work in human beings. That process is a little bit trickier. The phase one clinical trial is focused entirely on safety. That is, they take a very small group of people, they bring them into a room, they give them the new drug, and they see whether or not it kills them. The whole point is, will you die because we gave you this drug? Hopefully they don't, but about 50% of the time the drug is not considered safe enough to make it to the next trial, which is terrible news for the people who took it. Phase two clinical trials test whether or not it works. This is equally disappointing. Only about a fourth of the drugs that made it past animal trials and phase one clinical trials are going to make it past this phase two stage. Phase three, we test this drug against a bunch of other drugs that are already on the market. We open it up to large groups of people. We have to prove that it doesn't have any terrible side effects. It's the whole package. By the time we get to a phase three clinical trial, we've weeded out the vast majority of the drugs that worked in animal studies. Scientists desperately try to tell us that their animal research has no implications for human health and human disease. Literally, in the paper, in the title of the paper, they will write, this study only works for mice, only apply to mice for the love of God. Please, please, please do not apply this to human disease. And yet every single time we do it. So when somebody tries to tell you that the latest mouse study has an implication for human research, or worse, that they heard about a mouse study and so we've cured something, they are wrong. They're animal trials, they have nothing to do with human beings. I'm Joshua Krish, and this is Junk Science.